earlier only men were known by their names. Now, women are identified as individuals too. Inspiring short films from the BBC. Watch on iPlayer. I want to talk to you about the politics of this. Did she not think she was going to get that question? It's important to remember that this is a negotiation. It's a good photo op. I have an opportunity to create chaos. There is always an email. We are so insignificant in this cosmos. Do you want some facts on baguettes? I'm just feeding you the stories. Maybe this is The Context. The Context. Watch on BBC iPlayer. Live from London, this is BBC News. Sources suggest the Rafa crossing might open today so seriously wounded Palestinians can be treated in Egypt. It comes as Israel's military says its jets carried out an attack near a refugee camp in northern Gaza. Ukrainian children forced to leave their homes near the front line begin to arrive in safer parts of the country. And as the UK hosts the world's first AI safety summit, researchers say artificial intelligence is nearly twice as accurate at detecting a rare form of cancer. Hello and a very warm welcome. I'm Sally Bundock. So we start with news of growing reports. The Rafa border crossing in southern Gaza may soon open to allow wounded Palestinians to get treatment in Egypt. The UK's Foreign Office says the reports are credible and had informed the estimated 200 Britons who are trapped in Gaza. The US State Department says real progress had also